back again with Salma here in Asa from Sanctuary. Today, as you can see, I have four luggage here behind me. Um, they are in the same colors, in the same models, and same sizes, even though uh, these two at the front are smaller than the two at the back. So, uh, <coughs> I want you to imagine that if you could take this this four luggage with you uh, I think there wouldn't be a problem because uh, you will keep this four of luggage with you always but it will be different if you um, for example take it to the airport it is possible that other people may also have the same the exact same luggage as yours and moreover uh, like in a country where I live in right now in Indonesia when someone uh, traveling using the services of a traveling agent they will get uh, the same what is it this the exact same suitcase as other people who also registered through the agent especially when someone registered for umrah everyone who registered for the umrah package will definitely get the exact same suitcase just like this four i have uh, behind me and if they don't label their luggage they could possibly accidentally swap with someone else's and if that happened it is of course a hassle and troublesome right so here i am wanted to uh, help you to make a luggage take or suitcase take whatever you call it uh, with macrame and this will be this luggage tag will be very simple so i'm sure you can follow this tutorial so without further ado let's make it what you have to prepare are two different colors of rope basically you can use any kind of rope you have at home and here i have a four millimeter macrame rope and we also need scissors because we have to cut the rope about one and a half meters to begin fold one rope in half and attaching it directly to your luggage handle with a large head knot and we're going to insert another rope beneath uh, the knot before you tighten this up so simply insert the end of your second rope through the opening and once it's even on both sides pull it through and tighten the lark's head knot to hold everything in place now let's take the two outer ropes then cross the left over the right to create a loop I personally prefer to hold it in the middle where every rope cross then I'm going to weave the rope in the middle right over around and through the right loop and for the middle left I will twist it up and around to pass through the left loop And then pull the two outer ropes so it will be tightened up and then you can just simply pull these ropes until it look nice Now let's make another loop 
by crossing the left over the right again with this green rope and then take the middle right up and then around through the right loop and then do the same with the left middle left twist it up around and then through the left loop after that we can tighten up and bring everything into places just make it look nice let me show you one more time now take the two outer cords from each knot the previous knot and make a loop and then take the middle right into the right loops and then do the same with the left side now you just need to tighten it up and smooth it out so it will look nice on your suitcase now you can continue on your own by repeating the same technique in between two knots you can make it in zigzag formation or even make a V look and in this video I'm planning to make a V look for my luggage tag so I just need to repeat the same technique uh, until it creates a V shape Now you can see that it looks like a V shape or maybe a little heart and because I want to make uh, luggage tags I want to make sure that the tags won't come off so here I'm making a closing knot for each strings yeah just to make sure it won't be messed up so let's take a look at the second strings for the tutorial first of all we can make a loop it also similar to letter J and now insert the tail into the loop three times just like this and then pull it slowly so we can have three spiral spiral lines like this and 
and then you can continue this step into each strings we have. Here I shape it into an inverted V so it will be more symmetrical with the endless folds knot I made before and once we've made a closing knot we can cut it by forming it into an inverted V as well so it will look nice on the suitcase Alright, this is the final look. What do you think? If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make it yourself, then add it to your playlist so you can repeat it back later while following this tutorial. You can also share it with your friends or family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any tutorial from me. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.